So proud of her. So proud of her. But what I'm not proud of is Goober fumbling my five bucks. I <laughs> nah, most depressing game to my life. But regardless, what is kind of depressing, and I'm not saying hero, but I know why. Because Rob Hero is trash. So Vivi going Lucario against Harada, who is fighting like fighting for his life right now. Because we don't want to go down to losers, where we have a, a massive amount of just people going crazy in losers, right? Like, we have Maka Maka with King, we have Peko in there as well. So, Vivian and Harada fighting for our lives, trying to get through this really stacked winner's side as we see a trade Ooh. that is oh, in no. favor of Harada instead of Vivi. I'm actually curious what happened there because Vivi traded with the first hit of the arm order that should have, you know, refreshed them to be able to get the, uh, the extreme speed back onto stage. But Vivi, no slouch, no aura needed. Just a quick confirm into that back air, bringing us right back into even. Exactly. You, know, you, you need it. When you're Vivi, you bring this thing, these things right back to a nice even game, even stock count. And even though we are at a lack of aura right now, we're gaining this percentage as well back to a more favorable position. But as I say that, Vivi taking more percentage as we speak, but that only gives Lucario more of a uh, that kill power, that kill uh, opportunity uh, that, that does open up for them. Yep. Jumping right over that aura sphere, Heretta getting some more damage on the board, getting things that much closer to death. Don't want to deal with Vivi having too much aura for too long. Yeah, absolutely not. Once Vivi gets to that nice, you know, dark red or red, even just red area, Heretta has the ability as Rob just take it out as immediately. But we gotta come at the stage first of all. Can we recover? Try and get that aura sphere pressure as during the recovery of the gas, but. Thankfully, Hereda able to come to stage, but can we for even any longer than a second as Vivi is on top of them, like right on right. So tracking here is immaculate, but of course, Laser or if you're gonna clang and or and Laser's gonna win out in the end. Yep, these back airs so far have been doing so much work for Vivi, almost taking things two times, but Hereda holding on for dear life so far. You can see Hereda coming in close, maybe gonna be looking for an up throw on the platform, but getting Aura Spirit for their troubles. You know, that, that huge Aura Sphere, that's social distancing. Six feet, back up. And the dash tag, the foot right against her back. Get out of the stage. Don't pass go. Do not collect 200. Get out of my face, Vivi said. And Vivi has all those rays to build, uh, to work with as well. Thankfully, taking out of the situation of that down smash and getting a triple up there to boot. You look cool to see as he was able to work with his aura very, very nicely and his rage uh, as well. Hereta has to come to the stage, has to actually find a way to secure the stock, gain the back hit, the sour spot of that back air is going to be taking it. Yeah, and if you're a VV fan right now, this is absolutely what you love to see. A stock up with 140% aura. VV's going to be doing massive damage right now. Getting a bit of a... Oh my goodness! Just died. Did you, know, did you know that counter is aura based? He it he is. He. Very funny. Very you see, funny. Heretta, I think, was expecting it to send him outward. But. Oh, it's yeah, in the very perfect direction. So. Yeah, just exploding upward. You know, sometimes when you do counter, it, it goes. It just goes somewhere. It just goes. It really did be going somewhere. But this time it went exactly. Well, this is a weird, the weird oh, trade we I had. Oh, I think Vivi air dodged. I think that's what happened. There. It's a little hard to see because it happened in the magnifying glass, but I'm pretty sure Vivi air dodged. Maybe expecting to be able to grab ledge there. Yeah, they did. Yeah. You saw the air dodge right as they were going down. Couldn't and then try to swing in speed, but I don't think with enough aura you didn't really have much speed or uh, oh. thing to that. Oh! We got co combos, but we're not gonna be able to finish them as Vivi is very much aware of what is happening to them in that moment. But Hereta, game two coming in with a nice explosive start. 55% already on Vivi. Pretty good for Vivi, and, and really enough, because now they can actually reverse the situation and get some more percentage on Hereta as we speak. Yep, and I like the pick of small battlefield as well. We've been seeing Heretta play a little bit more of an up close and personal style of Rob, as opposed to what we typically see from like uh, Dill, for instance, who plays a much more poke based game. And against a character like Lucario, you know, you don't want pokes. You just want to get in there and you want to kill, just like that up air. Absolutely, gain an up smash, not gonna be enough to kill, but at least Heretta taking the opportunity to track and get Vivi in the middle of that with the up air to secure the stock. Like you're saying, when Lucario has a disadvantage, when Lucario doesn't have that stock lead and that less and that little bit of rage, it's n it's not gonna be pretty for the character. But regardless, he's gonna persevere, continue this aura sphere pressure on Shield, try to get a read roll as well, but jumping out of the situation instead. Now Heretta, pretty much has work cut out for him if we're able to continue this momentum in our favor. Yep, we've seen some recovery right now. Vivi looking for that aura sphere, but again the same trick. 
countering the gyro, not getting the kill that time. As we said before, it is aura base, but that back air, absolutely going to be taking it. That back air, though. <laughs> the Gario back air, a uh, uh, pretty good move. All right, gyro setups at ledge, but the getup attack just bursting right through it. All right, Heretta correctly reading the mash out of Vivi. And now setting up for some more gyro ledge setups. All right, definitely, definitely maintain some kind of space, trying to uh, throw some hurt boxes because our hit boxes because we don't want Vivi to utilize that aura for for any longer than they really have to, right? Or rather, wants to get this stock done, dusted, but now with Vivi, all this rage, Ooh. all this aura building up, we're seeing the side of Vivi that Lucaro can, about uh, the side of Lucaro that can really be scary to deal with. Almost getting the stock right there, gets that pressure on shield, and gets the the, the reverse um, aura sphere to boot. Yep, Heretta with some kind of panic options. Once again, choosing the same exact option twice. Rolling down smash. Not quite working out for it, but Heretta not getting punished the second time. Very lucky for him. Another down smash, catching Vivi on the roll-in that time in a high extreme speed. Giving Vivi a little bit of time, but up air. We'll be bringing Heretta to... Uh, or bringing Vivi to their last stock. Yeah, bringing Vivi to her last stock, but definitely not uh, not impossible for Vivi to really catch up. Has to get a really nice raw forest smash or some kind of combo going in order to secure this 142% that Heretta has on themselves as we speak. Nice Aura Sphere in order to get Heretta off stage. The second one just a boot. Can we get a third one going? Get the reflector Ooh. from the side, Vivi, though. But the down there and the nice tech to save the day. Oh, okay. All right, but forward <laughs> tilt at 180%. Definitely going to be finding that. Oh, Vivi ready for the air dodge in. Heretta's been doing a lot of like defense, like panic defensive options inward. I mean, we saw in that last stock a lot of rolling down smashes from ledge. And we've seen if Vivi can catch onto those already, bringing us back to even percentage. Whoa, he just died? My man just jumped into the bus. Here. What was, yo, what's going on today? What's going on? We're gonna see instant replay of that because Something that was a little water, bit, I think. little bit freaky deaky. What was going on? Oh, I literally missed it as I was trying to get the <laughs> replay going. I'm hilarious. It's alright. We'll see eventually as our next competitors do come up on deck. But I mean, like, that was weird. No, I can't. I can't get over that. That was weird. <laughs> he just walked into forward smash. And you'll see, it's just like, I'm going to use Gyro, yep. we're going to shoot through that parry, in fact, just to, just to boot, and then boom, we're going to jump off. The, f the, the fade back from Lucario, he brought it back, hitbox shifted backwards, not getting caught by that forward air. And Reggie was just like, yeah, I think I'm done. I'm just going oh, yeah. <laughs> to jump into the I'm, I'm good. John, why are you...